Welcome back, America. Uh, earlier today, you saw this breaking news headline. It was one of the most popular stories of the day on Just the News. Uh, President Trump's media and technology group merging with, get a load of this, a nuclear fusion company. So this is a company that started as social media, then it moved into crypto, it moved into uh, the uh, predictions markets, and now moving into the future of energy, it is actually merging with a company in that space. And we have an exclusive video to give you all the details. He's the chairman and CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group. He's also the chairman of the President's Intelligence Advisory Board. And I proudly say he's the man who unraveled the Russia collusion delusion, former congressman and good friend, Devin Nunes. Congressman, good to have you back on the show. Great to be with both of you. Thank you. All right. You have turned Trump Media and Technology Group into a juggernaut. It started as a social media company that gave us truth, and we needed some truth and some free speech. Then we got into crypto and, and, uh, and the uh, prediction markets, and now into the future of the industry. industry. What brought this on? Well, thank you, John. It's great to be with you, as always. You know, Trump Media, I always say, was not started because President Trump needed a company. It was started out of a necessity. And what was born is that a technology company, yes, we're social media, but we built our own technology. And this builds on that. As you know, uh, and Amanda is well aware, the energy crisis in this country has reached a real crisis, especially in some of the blue states uh, where they've invested extra money in solar and wind power. The prices continue to go up. Meanwhile, China has been building traditional nuclear power plants. They've been building coal plants. And now you see that China is working on producing their own chips and really looking to dominate the space in AI. They already dominate in manufacturing and they want to dominate in AI. And the only way we can bring that back to this country is we have to reduce the price of electricity. Now, I spent a lot of time in Congress working on nuclear power. Unfortunately, legislation that I proposed you know, 20 years ago didn't pass because the Congress decided that they should invest in windmills and solar panels. That hasn't worked. The good thing is, is that 75 years ago, you, there were two ways to go with nuclear. Nuclear fission was, a poss was, was the one that was easiest. Uh, that's what Admiral Rickover and others used to power America. You had the history with Three Mile Island and all, the, all of those problems. The nuclear fell out of favor. Then right when it was about to have a renaissance, people will remember the Fukushima accident in Japan, and that kind of stopped, unfortunately, a lot of the work that was being done uh, in, in nuclear power. However, there was a company called TAE, the one that we're merging with, that actually continued to invest. So families like Chuck Schwab's family, uh, investors like Stanley Druckenmiller, uh, Google, Chevron, many others continued to invest uh, in TAE. Uh, so this is private money, not government money. Uh, but for a quarter century, uh, they've amassed the best scientists that the world has to offer. Uh, and they've produced now, they're on their, they've built five generations of the reactor. Uh, and now we're stepping in, bringing, folding them into our company so that we can help them build their first reactor. So this is a fusion reactor. It's clean. Uh, it's, it's one that can, the first one will be up to 50 megawatts. The future ones will be somewhere between 350 to 500. Now, what does that mean? Wow. That means these are big enough to replace pretty much or add to the existing power generation that we have in this country. It's a, it's a good size. Now look, this is, this is breakthrough technology. When this is done, and I don't say this lightly, this will be the most important discovery and invention since the first Manhattan Project. So wow. we, we did a lot of searching, John, uh, uh, you know, all over the United States. We looked at a lot of the, the, the emerging nuclear power companies. And there's nothing, nothing that stands, uh, that, that holds a candle to this company. So look, we, we want to be right in the middle of the most important issue at the highest level. What does America really need? When we started True Social, we needed free speech. We saved that. Now somebody's got to step up and do something to produce real energy in this country. Uh, and we're going to do it uh, using our great shareholders and merging and bringing in all these new investors. Uh, it's just going to be a tremendous, tremendous opportunity. Uh, you know, we don't, this has never been done before, uh, but I think it can be done. I believe, I believe in the science. I believe in that this company has 1,600 patents, you know, 400 people that work there. 
uh, it's quite something to see. Um, uh, something that I think we all, uh, all Americans, should be rooting for this company to succeed. Uh, and we at Trump Media want to help make that happen. Wow, exciting. So cool, so cool. Um, Devin, with both nuclear fission and fusion, one of the most protracted parts of the process is figuring out how to practically convert that energy to something that's usable uh, and, and commercially available for the American people. Now that that has been determined, now that that's been figured out, is this a technology that could ultimately replace fossil fuels and other forms of electrifying America? Well, definitely it, it, it will over time. Uh, because, you know, once you start to build these, you, you drive down costs. You know, remember when nuclear fission first was developed and first implemented, it was one of the cheapest power sources. It was the rules and regulations, all the things that China's not doing that essentially made uh, nuclear uh, fission plants, the big nuclear power plants that we still have left in this country, it just made them not feasible anymore. We, we built a couple plants in, in Georgia. The cost overruns uh, were huge, and now no one wants to invest in them. The beauty of this technology, though, is this is not this is not fission; it's fusion, and so the waste, especially if if they're successful, TA successful in build in using boron, this will be cl real clean energy uh, that you know cost should be driven down. And the other good thing about this technology that we really liked is the infrastructure that they've built over these five generations of plants. It's all infrastructure that you can get here in the United States. You don't have to rely on this term that now everyone knows, the rare earth elements or rare earth minerals that China now is using. They have went around the globe and gobbled all that up. They gobbled those up because for not only computer chips, but also in most cases, a lot of the nuclear power relies on these special magnets and, and, and special minerals and elements. This, this company, what TEE's built, does not rely on that. Everything can be sourced here in America. So that's the difference really in the design and the design of a lot of the other companies that we evaluated and we looked at uh, over the course of the last year. Uh, so there is, a, there is a big difference and that's why we're so high on this because this team started with the science, built this up you know, over, over 25 years uh, and is doing something in a different way that uh, that thankfully we have people in this country that are still willing to to innovate uh, because we are going to need a whole lot of power, whether that's whether that's, you know, no matter what you believe in the AI in this AI boom, uh, I can tell you one thing. We're going to need a lot more power, not less. I can't tell you if that's going to be double the power needs in 20 or 30 years or 10 percent. It's still a lot. And the American people are paying too much for power now. If you want to bring back our industrial base, we have to reduce the price of electricity. And President Trump ran on that. He talked about American, American uh, energy independence. He talked about an all the above strategy. He told people how windmills and solar panels would not work. Uh, and there's also another funny irony in this, this whole project. Um, I remember sitting with, with the president a couple years ago, uh, and he has a he had a big concern about uh, nuclear uh, uh, yeah. uh, fission uh, with the waste, yeah. and of course with nuclear weapons and the proliferation of those of those weapons. Sure. Um, but he had a, he he always points to his uncle and John. I think you had been in his office, but he always had that magazine and picture of his uncle yeah. uh, that worked That's on right. similar technology. Uh, I think he was an MIT guy. So it's funny how this has come full circle where. Uh, a company that President Trump didn't need, uh, that was started to save free speech, that we have a legion of, of shareholders uh, that are amazing. We're now bringing in all these other new shareholders, uh, you know, that really bring in institutions, bring in uh, analyst coverage, things of that nature. But you also have this weird thing that here you have President Trump's uncle who worked on a lot of this technology for his whole life. Uh, and now you have his nephew who creates a company that he didn't need uh, that, you know, we're going to be the first to produce the, the world's first nuclear fusion power plant. It's a power reactor. It, it really is an amazing story. It is an amazing story. Very Trumpian in its, uh, in its origins and in its uh, destiny. Uh, before we let you go, I've got a couple minutes left. Uh, this brings uh, the value of the combined company to $6 billion. That's a remarkable business opportunity that you've already built. But it also puts you in bed with some really great people. Chuck Schwab, you mentioned, 
uh, he and his family. Uh, tell us uh, who else you, uh, is involved in this that could make this such a success. Yeah, got about two yeah I mean, you've got Chevron. Uh, you've got a lot of family offices. Uh, you have Stanley yeah. Druckenmiller, the famous uh, New York yeah, uh, Wall Street name. investor. Uh, you know, these are these are big names. Uh, and quite frankly, that's, uh, you know, one of the reasons why we you know we started looking at this. We said, look, this is this has got real people, real investment. Uh, and, yeah. you know, Chuck Schwab's been at the beginning of this. Uh, Michael Schwab will take a he'll actually become chair of the board. Michael is, uh, is Chuck's son. Uh, so this is really bringing together uh, some of the biggest names, the titans of, of industry, some of the biggest brands in the world. You take Schwab, you take Trump. You take Stanley Druckenmiller, you take uh, the Googles, the Chevrons. These are these are the big names, uh, and I think what you're going to see is that hopefully what we're what we're asking for uh, is for everyone to let's believe in America again, let's innovate again, uh, and you can do so by helping us help this company uh, get this off the ground. And the you know the good news is is because of the capital that we put on the balance sheet over the last year, we actually yep. have enough enough capital to to you know build this first reactor uh so we're not going to need you know any um, we don't have any immediate need for capital that's not to say we wouldn't raise more and try to do uh try to build other technologies uh, but we really are in a, in a great position and i hope that all americans should should get behind this we we all should be for lowering energy costs uh what we should not be for is what some of the left in the in the senate and house have said and that is that oh we should just let China or let other places do That's these right. guy data centers. That's, That's a true. recipe for disaster. Yeah, we're going to have to let you go. we got a hard break, commercial break coming up. This is a big moment. Congratulations. You've been the captain of the ship navigating it. Great to have you on. Folks, quick commercial break. We'll be back right after these messages.